What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Eclectic Beard. So, let's go around and be looking at episode three of Rising Damp. Now, this has quickly become one of my favorite things that I react to every week. Um, it's just it's just the interplay between Rigsby and the rest of everybody, and the way he's his his mindset his mindset because he 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 seems to. He's got some odd thoughts about things, to say the least. Uh, very, very simplistic. Very, um, he's not an unintelligent man, but he has unintelligent viewpoints. And it, the way those are, <laughs> the way that's brought up, brought about and brought out and turned on its head are for me just a, it, it's beautiful to see. Absolutely beautiful to see. So, with that being said, we're going ahead and get into episode three. I noticed that they changed the beginning sequence. Uh, the opening sequence for episode three. Just come to fix your drip, Miss Jones. Thank you, Mr. Rigby. I don't know what I'd do without you. Uh, that's all right, Miss Jones. That's what I'm here for. Any little thing, as you know. I'm afraid I'm not very practical. Well, you're more the artistic type, aren't you, Miss Jones? You like beautiful things. Let me look at your cups. Willow pattern. Lovely thing. Yes, we separate you from the rest, Miss Jones. And your table mats, yes. scenes from the ballet. And how many people around here eat off scenes from the ballet? <laughs> yes, you're lucky if you get a beer mat. <laughs> well, you've got that indefinable something called good taste, Miss Jones. Do you think so, Mr. Edward? Oh, yes, you make a difference to this place. Well, shades on the bulls, blue. He is just so effusive with his praise. And of course, you know, he'd like nothing more than to... Uh, He'd like nothing more than to, you know, be her main attraction. But, um... <laughs> Normally, his, uh, his, his, his interactions with her are not so effusive. Walk in the toilet. <laughs> Well, I hope so. I mean, I hope the others don't think I'm too fussy. I want them to accept me. Well, they'll accept you, all right. That's what worries me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, there. That's fixed, Miss Jones. Right. Um, anything else while I'm here? Well, yes, Mr. Rigsby. Oh. I wonder if you'd have a look at my doorknob. Oh. <laughs> Again? Well, I had a look at only last week. What's, what's the matter with it then? Well, people seem to be walking off with it. <laughs> oh, well, no wonder. Look at that. No, it's been vandalised. <laughs> yeah, what you can expect with that lot upstairs? Uh, just a few twists with my little... Uh, there we are. Let's fix that. Good. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you, Mr. Rigsby. Ah. Uh, I was uh, just thinking, Miss Jones, uh, uh, Spooner gave me a couple of tickets for the wrestling for tomorrow night. I wonder if you care to come. Me? Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, it's all right. It's not too near the front. I mean, you don't want a 15 stone wrestler in your lap, do you? Does that happen? Uh, oh, yes, yes, it can, yeah. And Spooner has got this nasty habit of spitting his drinking water over the car. <laughs> They're all in the heat of battle, of course. Well, it's very nice of you to ask me, Mr. Rigsby, but I really don't. Oh, oh you'll enjoy it, Miss Jones. It's a grudge fight. Spooner versus the Russian. Yeah, he's ended with a broken leg last time. Oh, how awful. Yeah. Mr. Spooner or the Russian? Uh, no, no, no. Somebody in the third row. <laughs> <laughs> but he's trying to get her on a date to go see wrestling. That's a, that'd be an interesting first date, that's for sure. Because um, <laughs> everybody loves a little bit of wrestling, right? At least they do around here. Um, the fact that she s seems so like ooh at first, and now it's like I like she's you know, um, she's not wanting to. I don't know. It, it's it just seems that she's <laughs> uh, she's like she's already been put off once, so. Eh. 
You see, the, uh, the, the Russian... Uh, oh, sorry, the, uh, the Russian comes on in ballet types, you see, and pelts Buddha with flowers. Huh? And this infuriates Buddha, he belts the Russian with his stool. Oh, but surely the referee wouldn't allow that. No, oh, no, this is before the shake hands. <laughs> <laughs> of course, everyone starts booing Spooner while the, while the Russian gives blowing him kisses. Poor oh, Mr. Spooner. No, 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 you don't understand. Me. There's a boost to boom. He's a villain. Doesn't he have any supporters? Uh, not many. No, you see, they're the ones he spits at. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, what, what do you say, Miss Jones? Must be good. Uh, have a spot of supper afterwards. <laughs> uh, well, I've just remembered, Mr. Riggs. I'm afraid I've got to work late tomorrow night. Oh. I hope you don't mind. Oh, of course not, Miss Jones. I uh, quite understand. <laughs> It was very nice of you to ask me. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. It was just, just a thought. Yeah. I mean, I can always get rid of the ticket. No, no bother there. After all, it's all fixed, isn't it? <laughs> right. <laughs> what do you think? What about? The earring. <laughs> oh, yes. It's not very big, is it? Well, it doesn't need to be. Catch it in anything, it'll tear your ear off. <laughs> Do you like it? Yes. Has Rigsby seen it? Uh, no, I, I, uh, I keep covering it up with my hand. <laughs> well, you know what he's like. He thinks a signet ring's flashy. <laughs> uh, do you want a coffee? Yeah, I need something. What's the matter? Oh, I've just said goodnight to the most beautiful girl I've ever met. I left her with tears in her eyes. What happened? Nothing. That's the trouble. <laughs> I bring her back here, but how could I with Rigsby prowling around? Couldn't you, uh, couldn't you go back to her place? No, she's in college. It's driving me mad. I've got a big scene getting there. Again? What do you mean, again? This is different. I love the interaction between these two. They've, they've become fast friends, it seems. I'd go through fire and blood for this girl. What about the park? And get covered in moss and dead leaves. <laughs> Thought you'd like the park. Just you and her under the stars. Just like the jungle. Would you stop talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my lord him supposed to be in you know a prince you know a, a prince from africa basically <laughs> just like the jungle oh dear god <laughs> these cats what's the matter with rigsby anyway well ruth keeps turning him down it's making him bitter he's down there at the moment asking her to go to the wrestling with him she won't go of course she thinks the main bout will be her versus rigsby <laughs> i think i've got him straight out i'm bringing a girl back here no, you do that and you find your cases in the hall. Besides, Ruth would have the vapours if you brought a girl back here. <laughs> tell you what, what we ought to do is to get them two together. And how do we do that? We give Rigsby some advice. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of advice could you give him? How to make it with Ruth. But you've never made it with anyone. <laughs> yes, I have. Hello. I've never seen you with a girl. Well, what about that girl who keeps following me? What girl? The one on the racing bike. Oh, you can't count her. <laughs> <laughs> she will, though. She will. You wait and see. Besides, just because you've never seen me with a girl, don't mean to say I've never had one. As a matter of fact, I'm getting over rather a big scene at the moment. Oh, I didn't know. I don't like to talk about it much. It's pretty steamy while it lasted. <laughs> well, go on. <laughs> They say I was the reason she failed her O-levels. <laughs> the reason was still at school. And you're going to advise Rigsby. Look out. <laughs> Don't you think he needs something? Like a body transplant. <laughs> hey, do you want some, do you want some coffee, Rigsby? <laughs> oh, my guts are in a turmoil today. You take anything for it? Deep breathing. I find that's the only thing that helps. Deep breathing every morning. You want to see a doctor? No, no, you start worrying about your health. You've had it. <laughs> you had a blow like that downstairs. Thought his shoulder blades were deformed. <laughs> Kept asking me to look at them. He spent hours trying to see them in the mirror. Oh. By the time he'd finished, they were deformed. <laughs> oh, that's better. Uh, uh, Rigsby, there's something I wanted to ask you. Oh, my God, what's that? What? There, there, on your ear, quick, something glinting. What is it? <laughs> He gonna think somebody he went fishing and somebody hooked him or something. <laughs> that glint on your ear. Oh, uh, and him being an old school type, of earring in an ear of a dude probably wouldn't sit well either. It's an earring. And it. Oh. 
stop the world, I want to get off. Oh, what's wrong with it? He looks like the gypsy's warning. But everybody's wearing them these days, Thank really. God help England, that's all I can say. Oh, except the Russians don't find out. I can just see us all marching into battle in bloody earrings. That'll really set us through the field with the enemy. Philip thinks it's all right. Oh, he would. He thinks a bone through the nose is all right. <laughs> Here, here's some tickets for the wrestling. Ask me what. It doesn't matter. She turned you down then, Riggs. Mind me. your own business. <laughs> He's got the right of it. She turned it down, Rigsby. And say, of course, he he gets told that it's an earring, and his reaction is what you would expect from somebody with old school type views like that. Like, uh, Philip goes to say so. Of course, you know, or he tells him that well, he likes it. Well, of course, you know, thinks it's all right with the bone thing. You know, again, blatant back to Africa, which is. Dude, the interactions between all of these all of these characters. Because he likes pestering the heck out of them, but he's coming there this time and it's a lot more friendly, it's a lot more you know, at least cordial. Whereas before it's always been to pester them, to take and just get up underneath their skin. And this time it being a little bit more cordial and just, you know, conversational and stuff like that. Whereas before he was down at uh Ruth's um her room and you know throwing effusive praise on her which he always takes and gives the underhanded comp you know the underhanded commentary uh you know praise in the commentary and stuff like that to her uh along with overtures that are aren't so subtle and of course it, it just never works but this go around with this earring or before this earring just uh the conversation it's the progression on this so far within three episodes is really cool to see. I, I, I can't understand it. I've tried everything with that woman. <laughs> you got some advice, Rigsby? From you? Who do you think you are? Bachelor of the Month? <laughs> your advice, mate. Hey, Rigsby, you ought to get with it. You ought to change your image. Perhaps I should borrow your earring. <laughs> I mean. You mean medallions, don't you? Shirt open, drinking Campari while some bird in the night is helping you off with your boots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the life's not like that. No, she's too busy with good causes to worry about me. That's the trouble. Yeah, she's you know, too, too, too busy worrying about his mates in Africa to worry about me. That's the trouble, you see. I'm not a good cause. Oh, I don't know. What about help the aged? <laughs> you know what you need? Oh. Charisma. I'm not spraying myself with that stuff, mate. <laughs> hey, charisma. It means personal charm. Oh, yeah. I've not noticed much charisma around here. <laughs> Look, Ruth doesn't want to go to the wrestling, does she? Huh? Do you know what she'd really like? What? A nice, quiet evening at home listening to Matt Munro. Who? <laughs> Matt Munro. But I've got one of his records here. Hey, why don't you take it down, give it a quick twirl, get her in a nice romantic mood and give her a gentle squeeze. Matt Munro? Never fails. Oh, I don't know. She's a very sensitive woman. My stomach being what it is, it rolls whenever I get near her. Must put her off. <laughs> hey, I've got just a thing. Well, here you are. Take a couple of these. What? They'll uh, calm you down and tone you up at the same hey, time. Hey, you haven't got any hormones in him, have you? <laughs> you know, he's that bloke down the road, the one who got the cheap turkey at Christmas, that was full of hormones. He's worried about it being full of <laughs> female hormones. Oh, my goodness. And so the fact that he, of course, and again, you know, this being so, it wouldn't be so bad. They could take and bring girls back. So they got ulterior motives themselves. But the fact that he's being so helpful and he's just, the whole interaction between all, between the three in the room right now is, well, other than, you know, the slights towards and from Philip, it, it's, you know, that banter back and forth, but it, it's, it is interesting to see he actually come up there more to just take and conversate and even complain about his efforts with Ruth and to take and really get up underneath their skin. Three days later, his wife had a deeper voice than he got. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I suppose they won't do any harm. Hey, on, take the bottle just in case. <laughs> Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Oh, God. <laughs> What were those tablets? Oh, mild tranquilizers. Perfectly harmless. They'll uh, 
slow him down, relax him. You know, the trouble is, he's put Ruth on a pedestal. As long as you don't put him on a pedestal. <laughs> How did you get hold of them? Uh, they were taken off the market. I thought you said they were harmless. Oh, they are, they are. It's just that they've got this sort of uh, mild side effect. Sort of side effect? They turn your water green. <laughs> <laughs> Now he coming down there like he Patrick Swayze or something like that, fixing to try to get old girl uh, to listen to tunes with him. <laughs> and he he's taking their advice. He'll ne that's that's this also funny because he's taking their advice. I can guarantee he'll probably never admit that he's oh and he's about to take a whole buttload of these tranquilizers. That's not good. He'll be uh nice and uh. Tranquilized. <laughs> it, it, it'd just be nice and blue. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> he done took the whole bottle. Oh, yes, Mr. Rixby. <laughs> okay, hold on. Something's going on here. I haven't asked for any. All right, well, I haven't, I didn't want the whole thing at the bottom. I didn't, I didn't want the closed captions, but we got closed captions, so. Glad to hear this, uh, this record. <laughs> Matt Monroe's latest. Matt Monroe, yes, yeah. I like him. He does things to me. Oh, good, good. I'll, 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 I'll slip it on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they've started to hit him. <laughs> so he's done taking all of these tranquilizers, and now he's in her room, or in her, uh, yeah, in her room, and everything started to hit him all at once. Oh, dear God. Uh, uh, I said, well, where's the handle now? <laughs> Electricity, Mr. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> um, well, just sit down, Mr. Jones. Let it flow over you. I didn't know you like listening to records, Mr. Rickson. Oh, yes, yes. I, I, I find it helps me to unwind, Mr. Jones. You, um, you find it helps you unwind? <laughs> yes, yes, I suppose it does. Okay, okay, yes, we can, uh, yes, we can, uh, <laughs> unwind together. This old cat right here. <laughs> You look, you look very bewitching tonight, Mr. Yeah? Oh, Mr. Rigsby. Well, now I am. I'm uh, noticing before you, a very, uh, very exciting woman, Mr. Yeah. Jones. Uh, Mr. Rigsby, the record. Hmm? Uh, oh, yes, I remember that time when you were sunbathing in the garden, uh, you know, just before the red ants got at you. I remember, uh, I remember thinking then, there's, a, there's an exciting woman, I thought. Yes, I, I noticed you were leaning on your spade a great deal. Yes, yeah, well, I couldn't take my eyes off you, I mean. We'd never had a... A bikini in the garden before. And I had to Bro, it. he is off of it. He done took and played it at such a slow speed on the record because he's just not thinking. And now he's, uh... <laughs> uh, now he's going... I have a feeling he's going to spill secrets. Boys off the fence. Yeah. Yes, yes, I do understand. Mm -hmm. Mr. Rigsby, mm -hmm. the record. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no doubt about it, he's got a beautiful voice. <laughs> Mr. Rigsby, it's on the wrong speed. Oh. <laughs> I hope we're not going to have that sort of male chauvinism. Whatever you may think, I am not a sex object, nor do I abandon myself to the strains of Matt Monroe. I don't know who gave you that impression. <laughs> Mr. Rigsby. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Rigsby? Yes. Was he awake? Oh, yes. Good. But he can't be Miss Chief. <laughs> <laughs> he can't be Miss Chief. <laughs> 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 Coming to the dentist, a grin on his face. Have you seen Rigsby? Yes, but he can't feel his teeth. <laughs> the doctor's on his way up now. Where is he? Where is he? Where do you think you are going? What's the matter, 
Max Biff. What's the matter? You say that after nearly poisoning me. You're exaggerating. I was drugged to the eyeballs. I slept for 24 hours. I still can't feel my teeth. <laughs> and you know what else? Do you know what I found when I went to the bathroom? My water's turned green. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the doctor. He told me that for women in early pregnancy. Do I look as if I'm in early pregnancy? <laughs> <laughs> No, but you look like you could shit a fucking house at the moment with all the pressure shit. And oh, my God. Oh, he's mad. Oh, God. He's mad from his head to his toes right now. <laughs> Thermal water green. Bright green. I'd sue you if you got me money. <laughs> of course, you finish me with Miss Joan Jury like that, don't you? She thinks I'm stark, raving mad, and I don't blame her. My, come on, I'd have to listen to you. But I was only trying to be helpful. Help? What do you know about the opposite sex? A woman so much as looked at he'd have a nosebleed. <laughs> Only thing you ever take to bed with is your Mickey Mouse old water bottle. <laughs> That's a fact, Rigsby. I'm seeing a woman tonight. L listen, listen, listen. I think he lives in a dream world. I don't think these women exist. You know, sometimes I don't think you exist. I think you come out the bloody wallpaper. <laughs> well, I am seeing a woman tonight. Hey, you believe me, don't you, Philip? <laughs> <laughs> well, I am anyway. <laughs> Never mind, Rigsby. There'll be another time. Oh, I don't know. I'm not so sure. It's all right for you. You're not out in Africa. It's different out there. You, you lead a more natural life out there. You're closer to nature. I haven't been close to nature since last Christmas. <laughs> Wasn't all that close then. <laughs> I, don't, I, 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 I just don't seem to get any chances these days. Why not? I don't know. There was this woman at the pub. They all said, ooh, whatever you do, don't give her a lift home, she'll interfere with you. <laughs> you know, she was uh, supposed to interfere with you while you were driving, you know. <laughs> so I gave her a lift home. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, oh my God, this is the funniest episode yet. Like, the humor that's written into these, in these episodes... And the, the variance of the humor that they write into these episodes is just, it's too funny, dude. Like, you can't help, how you can watch this show and not like it, bro, you'd have to be brain dead. I Just dead ass honest. You have to be brain dead. Simple as that. What happened? Nothing. It was a washout. <laughs> just talked about her feet. <laughs> Playing sideboards, Rigsby. Yes, I don't think I've got the strength. <laughs> what, what, what would you do if you were in my position? How do you mean? Well, what would they do in your country? Uh, we're a primitive people, Rigsby. I don't think we could teach well, you anything. I'm desperate. Time's running out. I'll try anything. <laughs> in my country, if a man was in your position, he'd get the wood of the love tree. He would burn it outside the girl's hut, and when she smelt the smoke, she would appear... wood from the love tree oh my god oh dear god oh don't oh dear god <laughs> he gonna burn the house down <laughs> at the door <laughs> he'd look deep into her eyes and she would fall in love with him <laughs> just like that just like that <laughs> <laughs> and now he's wanting to but he's afraid to ask about where to get wood from a love tree you can see it in his eyes <laughs> this cat is desperate oh my god <laughs> I'll do you a favor sometime, Philip. <laughs> well, that may be sooner than you think, Rigsby. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 Philip, you, you remember all that stuff we... Bro, he is so just... Oh, my God. <clears throat> so as much as I love It Ain't Half Hot Mom and... Even Yes Minister, 
I think this might be my new favourite. You were talking about the other day. You uh, haven't got him any bit knocking about, have you, at the moment? Oh, yes. Oh, good, good. <sighs> <laughs> this has been claimed. Everything's commercial these days, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Give him Reese be some love wood. He's going to burn it outside Ruth's hut. <laughs> Will it work? I shouldn't think so. It came off the wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear God, dude. Oh hell. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Is it Maureen? You mean you live up here? Where'd you keep your oxygen? <laughs> you get used to it. Here, now come and sit down. Aren't you forgetting something? In here? <laughs> you could have left it downstairs, you know. We're perfectly respectable. Oh, that's not what I've heard. <laughs> Who's your friend? <laughs> I told you I'm a doctor. Who was he? One of your patients? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you, uh, why don't you sit down? Uh, hey, what about a drink? Yeah. yeah. Somehow I don't see this going so well for him. I just, I don't know what it is. I don't know, just, I, you know. <laughs> Whoa. What do you have? That's it, not... thanks. Rather have a drink from me canisters. <laughs> you know, you look very young for a doctor. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, a lot of people have said that. <laughs> I've been taken for a student. <laughs> yeah, sometimes in the operating theatre I can hear them say, uh, Good God, you're not going to let that boy cut me open, are you? <laughs> Why are you whispering? Uh, no, I, I'm not whispering. It's, it's, it's just that I've got a low voice. <laughs> you're frightened of the landlord? Rigsby. No, 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 no. He, he knows his place. <laughs> no, he, uh, you have to humour him, like, he, uh, a bit simple. <laughs> Get about war. You bang a paper bag in front of Rigsby and he'd be straight over this chair. <laughs> Do Dude, he is trying so, so hard to, like, impress, like, just, just... Don't try so hard. Sweet. <laughs> they don't look like sweets. They look like the things my sister had. <laughs> Turned a <of> water green. <laughs> uh, how about a record? Oh, yeah. Do you like Matt Munro? Yes. Good. Just go in for everything, just homie. Go. Just go in. Just let it flow over you. <laughs> flow over me? I can hardly hear it. <laughs> oh, well, we don't want to wake uh, everybody up, do we? <laughs> yeah, he's he's definitely trying not to catch Rigsby's attention, which that's a given, but uh, she's not impressed. She's not impressed at all. <laughs> What's that in your ear? <laughs> It's an earring. They're very fashionable these days. Yeah, I know. Our Coleman's got one. His went septic. <laughs> hey, can you smell burning? Look, uh, why don't you uh, just relax and enjoy the music? Hey, what's your game? What do you mean? Listen, Doctor, when I want you to examine me, I'll let you know. No, no, no. no. no I wasn't examining What were you doing then? Trying to guess me weight? <laughs> hey, uh, why... why uh... Why do, you, why do you ride that bike all the time? No, oh, it's me, Dad. He doesn't like me going with boys. So he follows me. It's the only way I can outdistance him. <laughs> he says the first boy who touches me is going to wring his neck. <laughs> what was that? What? 
Well, it sounded like someone coming upstairs. Quick, under the bed. You are. <laughs> 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 no. I'll be quick under the bed. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Oh, his reaction to that. <laughs> and to look on his face while I paused it, like, in just sheer terror. <laughs> oh. I think it's all evening. It's very strong on the stairs. Are you sure it's not coming from in here? Uh, perhaps it's coming from uh, Spooner's room. Well, you better go and have a look. Well, I was, I was but just... we don't want to go up in flames, do we? Uh, well, uh... Well, hurry up. <coughs> go on. <laughs> God, he is, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> what are you trying to do, butter cuss? What the that? This is a piece of wood. Well, I can see that, Mr. Rigsby. If you stop wafting it around, you'll start a fire. I'll start a fire, all right, Miss Jan. <laughs> Here, have you noticed anything yet? Yes, the most appalling smell. Uh, this isn't ordinary wood, you know, it's special. Oh, yeah. Breathe in, go on, see what happens. <laughs> Bro, he is trying too hard. Like, just... Oh, my God. Just be out and out with it. Hey, let's let's date or let's not. Like, just, you know, I like you, think highly of you. Like, stop beating around the damn bush. They appreciate that a whole lot more. I don't know what you've got in mind, Mr. Rigsby, but nothing's going to happen. Give way to me, Joe. Don't fight it. Give way to me. Give way to me. <laughs> of giving way to it. Please extinguish your stick. <laughs> Sorry, but this is what far you can't claim to this job. Let's see about that. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. So wash that. Nothing. Wash that. What was? You mind your own business. <laughs> What's that doing there? What? What? That! 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 You know I don't allow bags now. Come on, get it out. Come on, I suppose I've got tar marks all over the line of my boy. Come on, get it out before I kick your spokes in. You leave that back alone. What? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the way he was taking and going after... <laughs> The lady with the burning wood. Oh, and now he's oh he's he's done made a fool of himself a couple of times over. Oh Jesus Christ! Now I'm talking about take it out, <laughs> kick the uh, kick your spokes in. <laughs> she gonna speak from under the bed. Oh, so that's it. You've got a woman in, and you've been drinking. No, she only drinks from a canister. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Could you give me that? You didn't bring her there just to ring her bell, mate. You've been having an orgy, haven't you? Hey, that's what you've been. The only thing I can't make out is what the bike's for. <laughs> I think we'd better go, Maureen. Oh, I wouldn't let him talk to you like that if I were you, even if he is simple. No. Simple? <laughs> Wait, miss, who do you think I am? Well, he's a doctor. You must be his body snatcher. Well, a doctor? <laughs> body snatcher? Listen, I'm a man with all Get her out of me before I bend that bike round her neck. Don't worry, I'm going. You can keep old golden earring. Won't be seen dead with him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's charisma, is it? Can't win them all. Oh, you don't win any of them. I win more than you. Oh, no, you don't. I, I, I'd have been all right tonight. I, I, I could feel it in my water. You would have been for this. Oh, uh, Rigsby, about that fever. Oh, yeah? Yes, yes uh, I have a girl outside. Have you? Yes. She's very cold out there, Rigsby. She must be. It's bitter, isn't it? Yes. yes, uh, yes. I wondered if I could possibly, you know, bring her up here, you know. Did you? Yes. yes. Well, let me put your mind at rest. You cannot bring her up here. She can stay out there and bloody well freeze. That's what she can do, you and your love wood. As if Miss Jones had fallen for that, a woman of her refinement. All he did was make her eyes water. <laughs> Is it any wonder? Look at that. Hey, smell that. Fuck. God, what a stink. You can tell that comes from Africa, all right? It doesn't come from Africa, reads me. Yeah, uh, what? It came off the wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm burning me on furniture. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh dear god oh dear god this is oh my lord this was hilarious this was absolutely hilarious this was a hoot like for real just this show is oh my head's hurting from laughing that's Bro, this episode right here, him taking and being lovelorn, trying to take, even getting advice from them two, and I, I think he might have done a little bit better if he wouldn't have had the whole thing of tranquilizers. Just saying, but he ate the whole thing of tranquilizers at one go, so, you know, that's a no-go. Just him taking and passing out the way he did on on Ruth and sleep of 24 hours and coming up there and they get told about Lovewood and trying to burn it, just not even being subtle with it at all. Like you burn it outside their door. They smell it. They come out and, you know, love it for, you know, loving their eyes and stuff like that. He chasing her around the whole daggone house with it. Lord have mercy. The writing in this is fantastic. The whole, the, the situations, scenarios that you can get from two from two rooms in a house is absolutely hilarious. Thanks to the dialogue. The dialogue that is done in this is bar none just gold. Um, Y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.